Nobody's perfect. And even the stunning celeb set can find something to facetune for Instagram. While self-love may be the true answer to finding inner peace, the plastic surgery trend among the rich and famous just keeps gaining steam. For better or worse, these stars put their money where their nose was and walked away with almost no regrets. Nobody puts baby in a corner. No one's putting baby in a corner, except maybe her nose job. Jennifer Grey burst onto the scene in 1986 with the iconic role of Baby Houseman, alongside Patrick Swayze in Dirty Dancing. In many ways, the star's nose was her defining feature. It was a rebellion against the leagues of Hollywood starlets with perfectly sculpted profiles. Grey's nose was what made her stand out, but at the height of her career in 89, she went under the knife. Grey has since been vocal about her dramatic rhinoplasty, which she claims ruined her career. According to The Mirror, she dubbed it the quote, nose job from hell. She said, I went into the operating room a celebrity and came out anonymous. I'll always be this once famous actress nobody recognizes because of a nose job. But even that didn't keep the actress from getting back to work. She went on to do series guest spots on Friends, Grey's Anatomy, and The Connors. And she even snagged a role in Amazon's short-lived 80s-themed comedy, Red Oaks. She simply struggled to recreate the same success she had with Dirty Dancing. Hole's third album, Celebrity Skin, was the band's biggest commercial success. According to Billboard, it sold over 1.4 million copies, and the title track became an anthem for all who reject the impossible beauty standards of Hollywood. But even so, frontwoman Courtney Love credits her nose job for opening up many doors. In fact, she claimed that in the six months following her surgery, quote, the whole world changed. Before Love was a Grammy-nominated musician, she was a struggling actress who believed her so-called big nose was getting in the way of even bigger roles. She told Jimmy Kimmel in 2014, I was an actress in the 80s, but well, let's just be real, I had a really big nose. And that schnoz was not taking me anywhere. Do you regret having your nose fixed? No. You don't? Okay, well that's good. Hell no. Love was 20 years old when she went under the knife, and she never looked back. 90s breakout star Lil' Kim paved the way for future female rappers like Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, and even Iggy Azalea. Truly, no one can fill Lil' Kim's shoes. But even so, the Lil' Kim of today looks almost nothing like the Lil' Kim of yesteryear. She looks beautiful. In 2019, the Daily Mail pointed out that Kim's nose was unrecognizable, compared to the way it looked just a few months prior. But all of this came years after Kim opened up about one of the sad reasons she went under the knife earlier in her career. In a 2005 interview with Hot 97's Angie Martinez, the singer revealed that she had to, quote, fix her nose after being physically assaulted by a former boyfriend. Her nose was so damaged that it required surgery. But that wasn't the sole reason she changed her looks. The star has been open about her penchant for getting a little work done here and there, adding, I think I did it because I was a little too vain at the time. I was trying to be perfect. I'm a perfectionist. If there's one thing that the cast of The Real Housewives of New Jersey is known for, besides flip tables, baptism brawls, and felonies, it's plastic surgery. The housewives have been vocal about getting a needle prick here and an incision there, and if they're not, their castmates are quick to call out any ounce of perceived fakeness. That's your personal business with my father, so okay. enough. But just like the women who went before her, Teresa's oldest daughter, Gia Judice, has indeed partaken in the time-honored tradition of rhinoplasty. She just had to wait until she was a legal adult to do it. In an Instagram post tagged with her plastic surgeon's office, the star revealed her new look and admitted that she had wanted the procedure for a long time. And by all accounts, it only added to her already glowy self-confidence. Yes, I got a nose job. Yes, I'm swollen. Thank you so much, Dr. Jeffrey Tobias. I'm absolutely in love with it. I am an adult now. This has been an insecurity of mine for a while, and I've never been happier and so comfortable in my own skin. Friends fans have never seen Lisa Kudrow's original nose, no matter how much we've watched and rewatched the series, and no matter how feverishly we're going to watch that supposed reunion whenever it actually happens. In truth, the Phoebe we know and love had some work done when she was a teen. In an interview with the Saturday Evening Post, Kudrow admitted that she got a nose job when she was 16 years old. And it changed her life for the better. This is madness. It's madness, I tell you, for the love of God, Monica, don't do it! Lisa revealed, that was life-altering. I went from, in my mind, hideous to not hideous. I did it the summer before going to a new high school, so there were plenty of people who wouldn't know how hideous I looked before. That was a good, good, good change. Today, all that remains are a few throwback pics on Instagram, but if her fans have anything to say about it, she looks beautiful both ways. Melissa Gorga's nose job is the stuff of Real Housewives of New Jersey legend, mostly because it was never really a secret. Still, the cast wanted to pretend that their beloved frenemy was indeed lying about going under the knife. Sure, Gorga sidestepped comments about the rhinoplasty, even attributing it to contouring in the past. But in her defense, she wasn't technically hiding it. 
That would have been nearly impossible because it was a pretty big change. In 2016, Gorga got into a massive argument with her former Bravo co-star Jacqueline Larita. The ex-cast member accused her of having four nose jobs and lying about it. During a confessional, Gorga admitted, Let's be honest, it's the worst kept secret that I've had a nose job. Let's be real, but it's my secret to tell, not hers. She's not wrong. Just because everyone knew she got a nose job doesn't mean she has to fess up to it on national TV. Gorga explained, It's a personal thing. It's not hurting anyone. It's your own business. Some people like to say, Hey, I injected this, tummy tuck this, and that's fine too. It's something that's personal to me. It's one of the very few things that is personal in my life at this point. While Ashley Tisdale has an extensive work history dating back to her childhood in the 90s, you might not recognize little Ashley in those early roles thanks to the nose job she got in 2007. After a stint on The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, Tisdale became a household name when High School Musical hit the big screen in 2006. She was instantly recognizable by her long blonde hair and notable nose. But a year later, she told People magazine that she had undergone surgery to correct a deviated septum, explaining, I went to get it checked out, and the doctor told me the septum was 80% deviated and that I had two small fractures on my nose. I feel kind of more myself. Not only did the surgery fix her apparent nose issues, but it also transformed her whole face. Tisdale told the outlet her surgery was only motivated by her health and at the same time urged fans to embrace their looks. She said, I didn't do this because I believe in plastic surgery. I want my fans to know the truth. I'm not someone who is going to act like I had nothing done. I just want to be honest because my fans are everything to me. When The Hills began filming, Heidi Montag had that sweet girl next door look going for her. But in 2007, she started undergoing a slew of plastic surgeries, including rhinoplasty and breast augmentation. She told Us Weekly in 2007, I've always been very insecure about my body. I have my dad's nose, which is huge. It took up so much of my face. When I looked down, I could see my nose. I couldn't get away from it. But she didn't stop there. In a 2016 interview with Entertainment Tonight, Montag revealed that she's had nearly a dozen surgeries, completely transforming her physical appearance. But the drastic alterations to her face and body didn't impress Hollywood, and Montag claims plastic surgery forever altered her career. She also said she was left in financial ruin after spending nearly $10 million on procedures and said that she, quote, died for a minute during one of her operations, which left her with health issues in the long run. Amazingly, she claims she doesn't regret her procedures, but she says, Certainly wouldn't do it again, and I certainly wouldn't recommend it. In the early 2000s, Ashley Simpson's career was really starting to take off. She had her own reality show, a Billboard Top 10 hit, and a chart-topping album, but her career soon took a huge dive. In 2004, she walked off the Saturday Night Live stage after getting caught in a lip-syncing fiasco. And it was like, boom, and the world, like, hated me for this SNL moment I had. Then in 2006, after her once distinctive nose appeared noticeably slimmer and straighter, she began battling rumors about a nose job. Though she's never outright admitted to having work done, Simpson has also never directly denied it. In 2006, she told the Associated Press, Everybody's already saying it, so I just don't talk about it. I'm like, okay, whatever. It doesn't bother me. The alleged surgery was rather poorly timed, however. It coincided with a Marie Claire issue that featured Simpson as a cover girl, encouraging readers to embrace their flaws. The late Michael Jackson's looks have always been a hot topic, and at the time of his death, he looked drastically different than he did at the beginning of his career. But back in 2002, Jackson made a stunning claim to ABC News, saying at the time, I've had no plastic surgery on my face, just my nose. It helped me breathe better so I can hit higher notes. Sometimes there's really nothing you can do about it. It's the price you have to pay. Even interviewer Martin Bashir couldn't believe the denial. Still, Jackson only went so far as to say that, when it came to what he remembered, he'd only had two operations. After his death, rumors buzzed that Jackson didn't even have a nose anymore, due to the many plastic surgeries he'd allegedly undergone. Rolling Stone even cited one source who claimed Jackson's nose was in fact prosthetic. The insider alleged that he'd seen it fall off of the pop star's face. This teen mom has never been shy about her ever-changing looks. Farrah Abraham debuted as a young parent on 16 and Pregnant and soon fell in love with reality TV. She has since appeared on multiple reality shows and even some adult films, and her looks seem to transform every time we see her. In 2014, Abraham told In Touch Weekly that by the time she was 21, she'd spent $21,000 on plastic surgeries, including a nose job, adding, I've hated my nose since I was 13. It was very worth it. I know I don't want to keep looking at my face because of my nose all the time. But not all of Abraham's cosmetic procedures have gone smoothly. In 2015, she famously appeared on Ease Botched to correct a mishap with a lip implant. She explained of her previous experience, I could feel everything, and it was hurting in a crazy way, and my lip was blowing up as I was sitting there. 
Luckily, the TV docs were able to help her with what ultimately was a serious allergic reaction to the anesthetic that was used for the procedure. While many people now know him as an actor, Mickey Rourke is also a real-life tough guy who got his start as a professional boxer. Unfortunately, repeated, brutal hits to the face come as part of the job. Rourke told the Daily Mail in 2009 that he broke his nose twice, explaining, I had to have cartilage taken from my ear to rebuild my nose and a couple of operations to scrape out the cartilage because the scar tissue wasn't healing properly. What, are you gonna teach me how to fight? <laughs> I ain't got that much time left. Claiming that he, quote, went to the wrong guy to get his nose fixed, he was left with an almost unrecognizable mug. But in 2017, Rourke reportedly went back under the knife yet again. He posted a photo on Instagram after the surgery, captioning it, Now I am pretty again. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.